All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set up basic breath control uh, for the cauldron synthesizer by Yonak. Uh, what you do here is pretty applicable uh, to other synthesizer software and hardware. You might have to just find your way around that particular synth, but the kind of fundamentals of this uh, are basically what you're doing when you set up breath control. I am assuming that you have configured your EWI to uh, you know, play, that you, you have actually set it up so that you can play it. Um, I'm assuming that you're sending breath, CCO2, out of the EWI uh, or other wind controller. You can, you can do the same thing that I'm saying with the other CCs. So if you're sending after touch or volume or expression, just instead of the things that I say to set to CCO2, set them to whatever makes sense uh, based on whatever you're sending. So for some hardware synths that maybe don't recognize breath uh, CCO2, instead you can set your controller to send, say, aftertouch, uh, which a lot of hardware synths do receive, and then you can use your breath sensor to send aftertouch and then control uh, your target synth the same way. Okay, uh, also assuming you know how to connect your EWI to your iPad. Uh, or, or iOS device. Okay, so uh, right now I just have a factory patch loaded. Uh, we're gonna start off by initializing the synth. So if you go up here and hit init, now we have an initialized patch. That's a one oscillator, full blast, set to a sawtooth wave with no filter, uh, and all of the envelopes are just kind of flattened out. What I, I want to show you is, to me, the basic way of setting up a, a patch, which would be to focus on uh, using the filter. All right, so I'm going to reinitialize it. All right, first thing we're going to do is go into Preferences and uh, Advanced MIDI Settings. All right, if, if you my menu wasn't zeroed out. Go to Preferences, Advanced MIDI Settings, and uh, you could either go to MIDI Learn or you could go into MIDI Maps. I wanna show you via MIDI Maps here. Um, so we scroll down. What we're looking for is Filter Frequency. So number 27 they'll f there, Filter Freak. It's currently set to, to look out for CC74. We're not sending 74. Uh, we wanna send two because that's what our breath sensor does. So we've set it to two, we hit set, we're done. All right, uh, that hasn't actually changed anything. What we want to do is make sure the filter type is a low pass filter, bring the frequency all the way down, which basically closes everything off. We're cutting all frequencies. We bring the resonance down uh, just because this is as basic as it gets. You don't have to bring the resonance down. Still nothing. All right, so now what we want to do is if I blow into the EWI, my breath sensor is going to open that frequency knob. All right, so that is breath control in its simplest form. All right, and I'm sure you're hearing that terrible click and going, well, I don't want that. Um, so this is pretty typical in a lot of synthesizers. The attack envelopes are so fast that you have to give it, you have to slow them down a little bit. You have to give it a little bit of attack in the VCA or amp envelope, uh, depending on what your synth calls it. But it's this attack, decay, sustain, release envelope that is set to amplitude or volume not the one set to filter. You can do other stuff with that. Um, all right, so what we wanna do, we're trying to get rid of this sound. So I'm just barely blowing, so all you hear is the click, but not the note. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna very slowly bring a tiny bit of attack in until it goes away. feel like I overdid it. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more. Maybe 
be a tiny bit more. In this synth, I tend to leave it on 10 milliseconds. <laughs> And uh, I don't like the way it releases. I feel like it's a little abrupt as well. So I do about the same, 10, 15 milliseconds for release. So we have basic breath control over this synthesizer. Um, what we have is oscillator one is opened all the way up. It's set to a sawtooth wave. Um, we have a low pass filter set with the frequency all the way down, resonance down, the filters kind of zeroed out, uh, filter uh, envelope. The amplitude envelope is set to have about 10 milliseconds of attack and about 15 milliseconds of release. To my ears, that makes it sound pretty natural and smooth so that I have control over the way it attacks. Um, that's the most basic thing. All kinds of stuff you can do. You can dig into this mod matrix. You can go into preferences uh, and MIDI maps and you can set breath to modulate all kinds of stuff. Um, well, let's just, for example, what if we set uh, breath to modulate noise volume? We'll just set it to two. Um, so uh, this, is, this will be pretty wild because it's wide open. So it's extreme, and uh, the way we can adjust that a little bit is we go down here, we find it again, noise volume. Uh, this min and max, well, why don't we just set it to, uh, um, let's set it to like 10. And now I can't hear it at all. So let's set it to like 50. And now I can hear it in there a little bit. But that's how you can scale your uh, breath sensor a little bit. So just on this one pat or one parameter, uh, it scales your breath sensor to just 0 through 50 instead of 0 through 27. All right. Uh, so I'm just going back to normal and I'm actually going to clear. I say I'm going to clear. Whoops. Oh, it turns out I don't know how to clear it. So. Shows you what I know. All right. All right, that's, uh, that's basic breath control for this synth. Lots more you can do with it. You know, you can set breath to modulate pretty much any parameter in here. If you get into the mod matrix, you can, you can set up uh, mod controls ba also back in the uh, preferences. Look, we also have aftertouch in here. Uh, if we set our breath sensor to modulate uh, or to send aftertouch, we could use that aftertouch to modulate something in the synth. Um, you know, lots of stuff you can do. Uh, this all is pretty applicable to other synths as well. All right, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message, leave a comment. Uh, if you think that I've done something wrong, let me know that too, because I want to make sure that this is uh, accurate. Um, and if you have something to teach me, please do. All right, have fun.